Okay. It'll be here at zero degrees at 2347.04, and it is 2347.06. Alpha Kilo Victor, AG4, AKV, Box Mike 05. 
Okay, 20 degrees. That's with 13.4. I'm getting better at this, but I lost it still. <laughs> Let's see, it is at 18.7 degrees. I got my compass. at 11.9 yeah so but I heard it earlier at about this height so at this elevation that was still pretty fun I made at least a couple contacts long island switch I don't know what 7.3 degrees which we have frequency too It's completely gone. 5.4 degrees. A little bit more tall, at least. It's pretty far north for a lot of people, so maybe it's just not on. I mean, nobody's using it. That's the other thing. I'm not aiming right, but I could be, and there's just nobody on it. I'm trying to key it up. Oh, I should do that. KG4 AKV. Three point one degrees. Not likely. Awesome. Okay, so that was cool. That was the second pass where I really tried to get the orientation right. This spot I'm at, Crossroads and Cary, this parking lot, it's where I've done most of my satellite stuff since I got back into it. And when I first oriented, I used my phone, I used Google Sky. It has compass directions on it, so it's based on GPS, and it's not very accurate as I've found. Uh, when I first looked at it, it seemed like the parking lot was oriented perfectly north, south, east, west. And then um, since I got a compass out and I really looked a little closer, it was not. It was a little bit off-center, so it wasn't really set up for that at all. I'm sure it was set for the geography or the land that they had access to or whatever. But in any event, since then, I've really used my compass and specific azimuth directions to, for example, this pass. I don't know if you can see it, but over there there's a couple trees. Right, basically right to the right of that triangular overhang to the left of Old Navy, to the right of Old Navy. That is where it, where the satellite came over. And then at its highest elevation, it would be just left of this light pole here. And when it was gone, it would be just left of this tree. So basically with that, I can track it relatively easily. What I noticed the last time I did all this is I don't need to move the antenna around as much. I was moving the antenna around a ton, and I realized oftentimes the satellite wasn't even transmitting, you know, and I'm like, oh, I don't have it, I'm missing it, I'm missing it, but it wasn't even transmitting, so I could have been right on it, and I was just moving all over the place and losing it, actually. So now once I find it, I kind of hold it steady there a lot more than I used to anyway, and that seems to work better. Occasionally I'll lose it though, like in the end, I often lose it in the end I guess, or at the top if I like reorient myself or, but anyway I made a couple contacts and what I really like about getting the reception and the orientation right is that I can listen to the satellite with a lot more confidence, like I feel like I can just kind of sit back and relax and the signal strength is solid for, consistently solid when I'm tracking it well, like it's S1, S2. Now granted, I've got a preamp on the um, on the radio built in, and that brings it up. Usually it's like S nothing, so S zero, I think, without the preamp. And um, I used to think this preamp on the radio, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This preamp button over here, and it, um, you can see it's off now. At least with HF, when I used the preamp on, on those frequencies, I couldn't really tell a difference, but with FM, with this satellite, with the preamp in this satellite, I mean, I could tell it actually, what I used to think it did is it just made the S meter go up, basically made it less noisy. I mean, I was impressed. It actually went, you know, from S0 with some scratchiness to like S1, S2 with no scratchiness. I mean, it actually increased the quality of the demodulated signal. So the preamp, what it does is it before it goes, before it gets demodulated, there's some amplification done. So it's like right before the transmitter. 
Another reason I didn't think this preamp would be that helpful is because ideally you should put the preamp as close to the source of the signal as possible, which would be like at the feed point of the antenna. So often people do use preamps like right, they would put it up on the UHF side because that's the satellite transmits on UHF and I receive on UHF. So they would put it here and there's also a lot more loss at, at higher frequencies. You know, you know, that makes sense because even over a short length of coax, there's a few dB, for example, or more, several dB um, of loss. So if you put it there, it basically accounts for that. So the preamp for this radio is in the radio. It's just before it goes, you know, deep into the process of being demodulated. So that to me is not as helpful as a preamp at the antenna. However, it apparently is helpful. It's not just a, a S meter booster. <laughs> so that was cool. I really had a good time getting the signal relatively consistently for about two thirds of the pass. Another thing I like is that now that I know where to aim exactly as opposed to being like 20, 30 degrees off, which is what I used to be, you know, like I thought north was this way, but it was really 20 or 30 degrees the other way. Now that I have that right, you know, I, I'm aiming right. So all I have to do is get the elevation right, and that's not too hard. And I'm getting the reception as soon as like four degrees, three degrees, you know, I can demodulate. I can actually understand what people are saying at five degrees. That's pretty cool to me. I mean, I heard the first like quieting of the receiver, the static going down, the noise floor going, or the noise going down at three or 3.4, four degrees. That's pretty cool. If I had a preamp at the feed point, I could probably pull that out. Cool, I'm looking forward to listening to this, this recording because, you know, it was kind of fun listening to all the people and see the waveform you can see <laughs> there's the waveform let's play it back put it right here in the middle hotel located fm 17 there you go qsl thank you we're in echo mary 28 echo mike 28 cool. qsl for two india india charlie handheld thank you for uh echo 28 73 delta two uh this is there I am. Cool deal. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to sign off now. That's enough audio and video to record. All right, thanks for watching. I am John Breyer, KG4AKV, 73.